Hi and welcome to Rove. In this video we're gonna have a look at this little IR remote for your Canon camera. But first I would like to thank all my subscribers for staying with me even though I haven't uploaded a video in quite some time. Thank you very much, I really appreciate it. I did record this a year ago and I've been trying it out for a year now. So first, let's go back a year and see how that looked. Okay, so today a little package arrived at the mail and I ripped it up at once. It was pretty fast, but then I decided maybe I should do a little unboxing. So, this is another little third party thing for my camera and it's a little remote control. It's gonna be a first impression, but I am going to get back to this in a few months and say if it still works. So, let's see here. There is a protective screen on it. Obviously, let's, let's take that off. It looks pretty nice actually, if I got it right, this is like taking a picture and this is activating the camera. It's a 3 volt lithium cell. Here we go, okay, single shooting. I need to go to this option here. Not going my way, the camera stopped recording for some reason. I wish I had my multimeter here so I could actually see if this battery was out. Uh, absolutely nothing is happening here. I believe this is the sensor. Take a picture, goddammit. Went ahead and bought a bunch of them. Just showing here that these are new. Opening the, the package. I hope they fit actually. They look a little bit bigger. Okay, so that's uh, the battery in it. Let's see here. You can push Q and then go here. And as you can see, 10 second and remote. There we go. Pretty fun. Pull this down a bit. Ah, it's a better at least. Okay, so let's see. Here's the remote, and yeah, recording, and it works fine. Just had to change the battery, that's all. Not gonna complain about that, I'm gonna give the seller a, a positive feedback and um, continue testing this remote out and get back in a couple of months. I can actually recommend this, it's called it's kind of long, so bear with me here. It's called IR Wireless Remote Controller for Canon EOS 600D, 60D, 70D, 700D, 100D, 5D, Mark 3 DSLR, DSLR. Anyway, I'll, I'll just leave a link in the description to this exact remote if you want it. It costs 2.2 US dollars, including shipping international. So it's quite cheap. After I switched battery, I haven't had to switch it uh, since, and it's gone a year now, it's still working great. Uh, I have no problems at all with it. Uh, these three buttons here, I'm not sure if, um, I'm not sure if you can see this, I'm trying to get more focus in my videos, so let's experiment a little bit. Uh, these three bottom buttons, I think maybe they do something on more advanced cameras, I'm not sure. On the Canon EOS 700D it does nothing. The S button takes a picture and if you have autofocus on it will focus before. So you can start, if you're gonna start recording, you can take a picture, let it autofocus and then start recording with the 2S button. This start and stops recording if you have set it to remote control on your camera. So uh, I'm gonna take this outside and see um, how far I can start and stop recording. All right, so this is the furthest away that I can get from the camera and still use the remote in pretty bright daylight. It's very windy right now and I'm using the Smart Lab Plus. So I apologize for the sound. Lots of cars and stuff, but uh, yeah. It's uh, not as far away as I was hoping, but still, it's a lot easier than just using a cable. So, my conclusion is that it doesn't reach that far. However, it's still a great little cheap remote and the price was basically nothing. Except that I had to buy a new battery for it. 
But I got absolutely nothing bad to say about this remote except for that. It's a cheap little remote and it does make recording a little bit easier, especially if you're recording yourself like I am right now. And yeah, I can recommend it. I've tried it out for a year. Uh, maybe some of them break easier than others. Not sure. Usually when it comes to cheap stuff, they do break. Next time, it will probably be the Sennheiser 558 HD 558. Great headphones, by the way. I'm really pleased with them. But uh, thank you for staying with me, even though I haven't been putting up videos uh, as much as I used to lately. But uh, there are more coming up. I just need to get stuff going here. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Yeah, <laughs> this is really the end. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> see you next time. Thank you for watching. Thank you. See you next time. <laughs> see you next time. Bye. Bye bye. Thank you for watching. Thank you. And see you next time. Bye. Oh god. Anyway, thank you for watching. And see you next time. Bye. Bye bye. Thank you for watching. Thank you. And see you next time. Bye. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> thank you for watching. Yeah, thank you. And see you next time. Bye. Bye bye. So thank you for watching. And see you next time. Yeah. Bye. <sighs> bye bye. Thank you for watching. Thank you. And see you next time. Bye. <laughs> oh. Bye bye. Anyway. Uh, yeah, anyway. <sighs> thank you for watching. Yeah, thank you. And see you next time. Bye. Bye bye.